So I got a brand new project to share with everybody today. It's a an alarm pie. So it's going to become my alarm clock. Uh, we're just in the early phases. I thought I would take you through step by step as I go along. So just starting here, we've got a Raspberry Pi Model B. Uh, that's Raspbian that is running there on a four gigabyte uh, chip that I got with Noobs, even though I replaced it with Raspbian proper. Uh, of course, you got my power cable, and uh, up here is the Wi-Fi. Uh, just here, just for testing purposes, I'm using a small speaker. You may have seen this in another project or two. Uh, this is just a 3.5 millimeter jack going to uh, a couple of speakers. Uh, it's battery powered. I got it on eBay. It was probably the cheapest uh, portable speaker I could find. I just use it for testing. Uh, this won't be around in this thing for long. Uh, you can see it's a little bit awkward here getting it into the pie and getting it to stick, but it's worth it uh, just for the testing purposes. Okay, so what this alarm clock pie is going to do is it's going to go onto the internet, grab relevant information that I want, bring it onto the pie, and then speak it out. So uh, what I'm specifically starting with uh, is the price of Bitcoins. So if you can imagine, uh, the price of Bitcoins is available on Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase returns the price to me. I take that price and put it into a script which turns it into text. That text is then read out as my alarm clock. So quite a little bit is happening there. and I'm just going to show you with, um, with my computer here. So, uh, as you know, I'm using SSH to get into the Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi. I'm here on my uh, MacBook Air, and I've called uh, this uh, program Subprocess2. The reason I've done this is so that I can break down the different components for the alarm clock. So, for example, uh, I'm starting now with Coinbase, uh, but I eventually hope to get headlines from the BBC and maybe play music from uh, one of my servers or you know add other features so basically I'm creating a, a multi-layered Python group so subprocess is the one that plays them all together uh, and each one will be broken out so subprocess will actually call one called uh, BTC um, so I'm just going to run it here, and you're going to see what's, what's going to happen. I'm using Festival to output the uh, audio. Uh, and first what it'll do is it'll echo. We'll see what the line is that it's going to be using to generate uh, the text. So here we go. Uh, here's the demo and uh, how I'm going to do it. Good morning, Peter. The current value of one Bitcoin is... 596.60. So today's uh, the end of June. Um, and that just happens to be the current price of Bitcoin. Please don't use that as a, a reference for what it is as you're watching this uh, film. Um, but hopefully you can see here, uh, this line reads, Echo, good morning, Peter. The current value of one Bitcoin is, uh, and then it grabs that value. Then using Festival, uh, here to, well, basically speak it out as you heard. All right, so in the about section below, you'll find uh, this early code, uh, the BTC bit, which will be using the Coinbase API to grab the information, and of course, the uh, script to call it using Festival. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into a speaker system that I've already got going, and then I'm gonna use cron to make sure it runs uh, every day. And of course that cron script will also be available below. Right now I'm only using basic Python, so you don't need to add any uh, crazy Python utilities, though I intend to in the future. All right, so if you have any questions, post them below. Uh, again, with these things, it's best if we kind of create a little community around it and we can help each other. Um, of course you can check out my other projects, don't forget to donate. If you found this project useful and inspired you, uh, you know it, it really does help to motivate and, uh, and get new pieces and parts to use uh, for each new project as I build it. We also accept 
Bitcoins, which, as you know, I'm interested in the price. We don't have a lot of them, but uh, it is interesting to follow and a fun computer science project. You can also check out my Bitcoin video uh, using a Raspberry Pi. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, hope to see you back soon for part two.